Assalamu alaikum dear friends I am engineer Saifullah and you are watching Saifullah engineer at site YouTube channel so today I am going to share the fifth part of the Saifullah engineer site engineer KVQ engineer interview question and answer series so before starting the video please subscribe to our YouTube channel like the video app if you have any question or issue regarding Saifullah engineering jobs interview question or any issue so you can ask in the comment section so let's start the video if you want to order the concrete so how you will find the volume volume for the concrete a lot of interviewer ask this question that how you will calculate the volume for concrete so this is very easy you have to multiply length by width by height or depth length multiplied by width multiplied by height height or depth so after that you will find a specific volume of the element for which you will order a concrete and you have as i told you that you have to order one or one or two cubic meter more concrete for the to make to for a pump cleaning the second question why we provide concrete cover for the steel what is the purpose of providing concrete cover for the steel concrete cover is provided for the steel enforcement to protect the rebar against corrosion and provide resistance against fire to basic you can answer this question why we provide concrete cover to the reinforcement why we provide concrete cover to the reinforcement to protect it from the corrosion and provide resistance to the fire third question how you will check the level at construction site how you will check the level on construction site if the interviewer asks this question you have to say i will check the level on construction site by spirit level dumpy level or leveling 5 dumpy level spirit level or leveling 5 by these three method you can check the level at construction site very easily the fourth question is what is the concrete cube the concrete cube which we use for the compressive strength or crushing strength for a concrete after 28 days 7 days and 14 days so what is the size of this concrete cube as a qc engineer maybe you will uh, the uh, interviewer can ask this question so its size is 15 cm by 15 cm by 15 cm 15 by 15 by 15 and unit will be cm so so uh, question what is the density of steel the density of steel bar is 7850 kg per cubic meter density of steel is 7850 kg 50 kg per cubic meter what is the weight of rcc weight of rcc density of rcc to 2500 kg per cubic meter in 1 cubic meter the weight of rcc concrete r is 2500 if in case the interviewer asks you this question that how you will find the load of one column so don't be confused don't be it's very easy you have to find the volume of the column like in case its volume is 3 cubic meter then multiply that 3 cubic meter with the density or unit weight of rcc which is 7 uh, which is 2500 multiply 3 cubic meter with 2500 cubic meter for uh, kg per cubic meter so you will get the load of that column or the weight of that column what is the maximum pre pile up concrete to allowed here in saudi arabia the maximum is 1 cubic uh, sorry 1 meter but in other side in all over the world it's allowed to the pre pile up concrete costing is 1.5 meter but here in saudi arabia we are following 1 meter you cannot go more than 1 meter if you the height is more than 1 meter so the cons the consultant will stop you from the work that's enough the other question what is the full form of ndt a lot of people can ask you what is ndt so if the interview ask you what is ndt and you don't know the full form of the ndt so, so you will cannot give him the full explanation ndt non destructive test in case at the concrete the crushing strength and compressive strength fail after 28 days so what you will do you have to bring the third party to do the first ndt test ndt non destructive test schmidt hammer test you have to do to 
check the compressive strength of the casted concentrated side. If it's also pay, it's not also like the consultant is not ready to for that a uh, Smith hammer test you have to do the core cutter test okay and the uh, how you will calculate the lapping length what will be the lapping length in a column beam whatever it's very easy 50 multiplied by diameter of the steel if in case you are checking lapping length in a column where the main bar are 50, uh, 16 diameter so you have to multiply 16 by 50 and that will be the length of the lapping length or overlapping length for the column steel so guys if you have any question related to the is interview question and answer you can ask in the comment section and if you have any other issue about how to get job how to apply for the job how to start career in Saudi Arabia so you can ask in the comment section and we have uploaded a lot of videos on this topic so you can also let me know thank you so much for watching our video and like the video comment it if you have any decision subscribe to our youtube channel and share it with your friend thank you so much